for today only if you use this code here you can sign up to my GCSE maths course at 10% off and if you combine that with one of the codes for our ambassadors who you can find over Instagram that will give you 20% off making a year's access to thousands of GCSE maths questions for only £8 which isn't very much to ensure that you get continual access to education with all the school closures that are going on. Hello Year 11, um, you may have noticed that your teachers are freaking out a little bit and they are very stressed and you are having lots of mocks and exams and um, this is just your teachers being prepared in case um, schools close a lot, in case exams are cancelled, um, in case calculated grades are used or as has been suggested that mock results are used that is a single mock result being used for your um actual grade instead of you sitting your GCSE exams there are loads of problems with this but that is a whole another separate video and um, this video is about what you can do now um I can tell you what I want to do now I was just going to sit in the corner and have a little bit of a cry at the state and despair um, but you know we can't spend our entire lives sitting in the corner crying um, even though I do feel like it sometimes oh this is such a sad and depressing video anyway you're 11 yay this is potentially the most exciting time ever to be doing your GCSEs do you believe me no okay I don't believe me either um, but if I tell you to start revising now and the fact that you are watching this video this early on in the year, um, you might actually listen to me. When I tell you mocks are important, you might actually listen to me. So let's put a positive spin on this. When we get around to your actual exams in 2021, which you will be sitting you guys are going to be so well prepared because you will have had really good revision techniques in place right from the beginning of year 11 right from now so well done you guys you are doing an awesome awesome job of this um and this is how you are going to do an awesome awesome job of this um what we're going to need to make a timetable and in that timetable you're going to need to put in things that are important now i mean important to you if something is important to you, then it is important. Do not let anyone else belittle you or the things that you like or your lifestyle choices. If it is important to you, then it is important and you need to make time for it in your life and in your timetable. So whether that is uh, playing football, or whether it's going to church or whether it's helping out with scouts and guides, online or whether it's you know doing conservation work in the forest or whether it's playing computer games or whether it is you know really really trying to get perfect eyebrows if it is important then it is important and you need to make time for it so when we are looking at making a vision timetables which we really need to spend half term doing this is your half term task make your vision timetable then we need to fit in things like Hollyoaks every single night or horseback riding every single Sunday we need to make sure those things are on the timetable they are important if you take all of the joy out of your life and just focus on revising by the time we get to March if we're lucky you'll be burnt out probably sooner than that and that is not something we want to happen this is a marathon not a sprint we cannot go absolutely full guns now because you just won't make it through to the exams so I'm talking about maybe doing an hour a half an hour a night I'm not talking about doing loads and loads of revision just pick a topic that you had that day maths for example because maths unfortunately is one of the subjects where they haven't reduced the content in any way at all you still have to learn all of maths you still have to sit exactly the same exams that two years ago they sat um so there is a lot of content to learn for maths take the topic that you did two weeks ago and just try and do some questions from the textbook or a paper or some of the questions that i've got on my course online or the workbooks i've literally spent about a year sorting out maths questions for you so 
just try and do that. And if you can do it without doing any extra revision, then brilliant, that is amazing, great. And if you can't, just write it down on a list. And then next time you come to do some maths revision, you know, maybe you've got a two week timetable, maybe you only write maths every other Monday. Um, you need to know that actually you can't do questions on that, you need to go back and like watch a video on that or look at your notes or look at how it does in the textbook. So just starting a revision little and often and by that I do not mean sitting down and doing four hours of history papers all in one go without using any of your notes because that is crazy. I do not mean sitting up to midnight 11 o'clock at night even revising because that is crazy i'm talking about doing maybe like half an hour an hour a day at this stage not huge amounts little and often is the key with revision doing it a little bit little bits like if you've got to get the bus home from school and you've got some flashcards on your phone on whatever app you want to have flashcards on just having a look at those flashcards in the, the wasted time that you'd be scrolling through the nothing that happens on Twitter or um, getting caught up in other people's dramas over on Instagram. Maybe we just save all the Instagram drama for the summer holidays when this is all over um, and you do like five minutes of flashcards. I'm really not talking about huge amounts of work because at this point in the year, you don't need to be doing huge amounts of work. Definitely, definitely not. But a little bit here, a little bit there is not going to hurt. It's gonna really, really solidify things in your brain. And it is vitally important that you make time to do the things that you like. Now, by spreading your vision a little bit, little bit, little bit all over, is actually going to mean that by the time we get around to the exams you are going to have time to still do the things that you like say for maths you wanted to do 30 hours of revision you can do that 30 hours of revision it will take you um four five days solid maths work in may that is an awful week i'm telling you now sitting in your math sitting at your desk doing 30 hours of maths papers non-stop is going to be horrible however if you did like an hour a week from now until then that's the same amount of time you spent revising except you spread it out little and often and you don't even have to do an hour at a time you could do 20 minutes on a monday then you could do 10 minutes looking at flashcards on your phone on a thursday and then you could do half an hour on a sunday you don't have to do that whole block of revision all in one go. Spread it out, do a little bit by little bit, little and often, little and often, little and often is the way to get things in. So your task for this half term, the thing that is most important for you to do, as well as your homework and revising and whatever it is, is sort out how you like to revise and sort out where you are going to revise. Because this is gonna be important not only for revision, but for kind of like short term school closures, you need to be able to get a message at before you leave school seven eight o'clock in the morning and then be at your desk ready for period one at nine o'clock and you don't need to spend a lot of money on this you don't need a lot of tech for this you do however need somewhere to study now that could be somewhere downstairs like the kitchen counter or the dining room table or it could be somewhere upstairs if you are lucky to have a bedroom to yourself and you've got space in there where you can put a little desk it is important that you get yourself a little desk it can just be like a little cheap cafe desk which folds up and you put it to the side when you're not revising or it can just be one of those like tray desks that you see advertised in the back of the magazines that your nan reads for like eating like tv dinners off like tv tray dinner tray things and then you can sit on your bed but you've got somewhere flat to study on um those are going to be maybe a little bit of money for you to buy, but I'm not asking you to go and buy a laptop. I'm asking you to go and buy a bit of wood that you can study on because it is so important you have a dedicated study space. See my desk behind me here? It has pretty things on it. I'm not saying your desk has to be super boring. I've got my nice books and my candles and my, my pretty things, but I've also got space in the middle that I can put 
notepad on i've got my textbooks up here i've got a load of pens here and then just look i've got a notepad just behind me so i've got space to do writing and put textbooks and look stuff up so make sure it's organized because you don't want to spend the first 10 minutes of a study session looking for a pen finding a pen realizing it's one out of ink spend another 10 minutes looking for a pen and then you, you've wasted 20 minutes when you could be you know watching some videos or something uh, make sure you have a checklist of what you need to know so revision guides which you can download free from my website or the beginning bit of any um revision guide make sure you've found the correct playlist from my youtube channel for the specifications that you're doing and that you've saved the link to those for this half term i don't necessarily want you to start doing loads of revision but i want you to start planning to do loads of revision so get a timetable sorted get a study area sorted you know a two-week timetable spreading out maths and science and rs and art and history and languages all over the place um so you've got a nice timetable in place so that if schools shut you can get started straight away otherwise we are just doing lots and lots of revision for your exams and your marks and yeah i'm gonna be here with you every single step of the way guys not just because i live in a high alert area and there's nowhere for me to go but because I am always here with you, I'll be here with you through to the end of year 11 and we will get through this together. Ouch! This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches. <laughs>